This is Christopher Carey and in this video we are going to look at an example of uh, combining functions together by finding the sum of two functions. So we, our example here we have f of x equals 5x minus 4 and g of x equals negative 9x plus 6. And what we want to find is f plus g of x. And this is, this is actually kind of a simple process. Uh, there's a rule that you should know before you start this that in order to find f plus g of x it is simply f of x plus g of x and there's some similar rules for subtraction and, and multiplication as well so all we really have to do to find the function f plus g of x this is going to make a new function is to simply add f of x which is 5x minus 4 plus g of x which is negative 9x plus 6 and we'll combine our like terms and get negative 4x plus 2 so we get f plus g of x is this new function negative 4x plus 2 so that was pretty simple the the mechanics of that is pretty simple maybe we could take a look and see what that means what's going on what so let's let's say we had a, a particular value of x so let's say we want to evaluate um, f of 2 and g of 2 alright so let's say f of 2 would be 5 times 2 take away 4 which would be 10 take away 4 which would be 6 and g of 2 would be negative 9 times 2 plus 6 so that would give me negative 18 plus 6 which is negative 12 alright so if I looked at well what would f of 2 plus g of 2 what if I wanted to add these together well f of 2 came out to be 6 and g of 2 was negative 12 so f of 2 plus g of 2 was negative 6 okay well that's all well and good but what does that have to do with f plus g of x let's go back over here and let's find f plus g of 2 so in other words instead of finding f of 2 and then finding g of 2 and then adding them together what if we used our function that we created here f plus g of x and we plugged in 2 let's see what we get we get negative 4 times 2 which is negative 8 plus 2 which is negative 6 so we get the same thing as we did if we plug 2 into f and then plug 2 into g and add those together we get the same thing if we plug in 2 into our function f plus g of x so this function that we created f plus g of x is sort of a shortcut if we were taking a value and putting it into two separate functions and then adding it together we could use this shortcut and just plug that value directly into our uh, sum function and that's that's pretty much all there is to it um, you have similar rules for subtracting functions I'll write those down for you get this example out of the way um, f of x, if, if you were asked to find f minus g of x, what you would want to do is do f of x minus g of x. Now you'd want to be careful here with the minus because you'd have to distribute a negative. So let's go ahead and go through that. f of x is 5x minus 4 still. I'll put that in parentheses this time. Minus g of x is negative 9x plus 6. Now I didn't really worry about the parentheses in this addition example because you know if I had parentheses around this it, it really wouldn't matter when there's a plus between them but when there's a minus between them between any two expressions you do have to distribute that negative into each term um, that's directly after the subtraction sign or the minus sign so that's going to change this to plus 9x minus 6 you have to distribute it to every term and then you just combine like terms which gives you 14x take away 10 so that would be your shortcut for finding f minus g of x and you could do um, f times g of x so to find that you would just take f of x times g of x so we would take 5x minus 4 times negative 9x plus 6 and I guess if we wanted to um, make that look a little nicer we could foil that out and simplify it to be negative 45 
x squared plus 30x. I'm going to run out of room here. I'll write it underneath. Plus 36x. So now I'm taking negative 4 times negative 9x. And then negative 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. So we add those together and we get negative 45x squared plus 66x take away 24. So that would be a shortcut for finding f times g of x. In other words, if we found f of 2 and g of 2 and multiplied those together, it would be the same thing as if we plug 2 into here. It should come out to be the same answer. So the last one you might see is f divided by g of x. And to find that, you would take f of x over g of x. And there's really not much you can do with that in this case. You would just end up with 5x minus 4 over negative 9x plus 6. Um, so again, these are pretty straightforward uh, examples, but uh, it, it helps to understand what we're doing with those values of x. And, I, and I'm saying we could put in 2, but really you could put in any value that you want. And if you're getting a little more advanced, especially on this division one, you might want to think about how that affects the domain of the function. If when I create this new f of x over g of x function, I create a situation where I could end up with a zero in the denominator, which I don't want. So I, I would want to say that in, the, in my new function, I want uh, negative 9x plus 6. I, I don't want that to be 0 because if that's 0, it creates a, an undefined um, value of my function. So in order to figure out what value of x causes that, I just solve this for, for um, x and get x by itself. And I figure out that I don't want x to be 2 thirds. So my domain is everything but 2 thirds. In these other examples, the domain is still all real numbers. The original domain of these two functions was all real numbers. You could put any number in for x and get out an answer. Um, and the sum, difference, and product functions all have the same situation. They're, the sum function was another linear equation. The difference function was another linear equation. The product is a quadratic equation. All domains of all real numbers, so that wasn't an issue. Um, you do want to be careful of the order if you are doing, if you switch these around, g of x minus f of x, because subtraction is not commutative, you're going to get a different answer. If you switch the order on the addition, it's not going to matter, because addition is commutative. So be careful of the order. If they're in a certain order, just you know write them out that way and add them or subtract them together that way just to be safe. Well, I hope that helped in working with uh, combining functions.